My name is Joel. I'm 19 years old. Um, I'm from France and my parents are both Ghanaian, which makes me Ghanaian in French. <laughs> Um, my name is Honor. I am a 22-year-old student. I'm also a musician and a model. Hi, my name is Nicholas. Nicholas Tomovigo. And I'm from Spain. to dance, sing, act, I like to basically just express myself creatively, like I find myself like dancing and listening to music like literally 24-7, like if there's one day I wake up and I don't listen to music, I can't function, like music is really into, like I'm really into music uh, and the creative arts. I also like to spend time with people, also I like to have a like, balance, so I kind of like, um, need to like stay on my own and you know, just chill. Um, yeah, and I also don't like to be restricted, I like to be free, so it, I'm quite a spontaneous person. In my spare time, I mostly work on music, um, I've been trying to be more creative and painting more. Um, I just recently started Pilates and yoga, so I've been trying to do more of that. And um, roller derby, yeah. I like to go gym, I like to study. I study the Spanish Constitution, the Book of, of Laws, and I enjoy going out, parties, clubs. I listen. I also listen to music. Well, yes. Why not? No. I don't, personally, me, I don't think I could have done it, to be honest. Um, well, looking at the history that black people have as a black person over there, I think like it w I would have struggled a lot, probably just like how they did anyways. Um, I don't think that I would have lived very comfortably back in like the 70s and the 80s, um, especially being a queer black non-binary person. I probably wouldn't have been able to be my authentic self and have felt safe and comfortable expressing that behind closed doors, but probably not as much in public. Probably I'll face some discrimination, but we strong enough to overcome it. Um, it was when I was younger, uh, when I first came to the country. I got bullied from year six to like year eight, end of year eight. Um, and year six and year seven was mostly to do with like my skin color as it is anyways. Uh, I had like loads of slurs thrown at me, loads of insults. And um, because I couldn't speak English, because I came fresh from France, um, it was quite hard because I couldn't defend myself. Unfortunately, I feel like I have experienced discrimination way too much and I definitely started when I was in primary school. I think that's the first time that I really experienced it and I just started to understand what it was. I think the like first experience that I had with it was no one in my primary school wanted to play with me and I was the only black person in the whole school and no one wanted to play with me and I was bullied relentlessly until one day the girl says to me I don't like you because you're black and I got really upset I'd never heard anyone say that before and I told the school and they asked me to leave the school because I was making the other children feel uncomfortable that was like my first experience of discrimination and I had to like move schools to like a whole different town and I think it took me like 45 minutes to get to primary school in the morning
That is messed up. Yeah, it was really bad. It was really bad. I mean, obviously, I'm like laughing, but it's because it's just like, you just kind of have to laugh about it sometimes, otherwise it will actually drive you insane. Yeah. When I moved to England, I remember I was walking down the street with my mother and little sister, and I saw this English man calling the N word to this black guy. They were having uh, an argument. He wasn't risen towards me. I was a third person. But yeah. How did that make you feel? I didn't care. I did. I don't. I don't really give importance to racism. I just. I just. I, it's just me. I'm just me myself. I don't really listen to you know, hate comments, you know, so I didn't care. Quite bad, COVID hit, and I couldn't really do a lot of things that I wanted to do. But this year's actually better. The 2020s, um, well, 2020 was a, a like struggling year, I believe, with the whole COVID and everything. 2021 was okay. Um, I found myself, you know, growing that year and finding who I really was. Uh, and 2022 uh, has been quite good, to be honest, especially for my second uni year. Um, I've been enjoying it so far and I feel like I'm really growing as a person so far i have found the 2020s to be very eventful um yeah 2020 to 2022 was just long i don't even know if i can fully comprehend what has happened over the past three years i feel like i'm still recovering from it a little bit but um yeah it's been very interesting <laughs> I think that there is a lot of room for improvement with the way the world is right now um, but I think that some of the ways that um, we're going about it could also use some work. Uh, with the generation that we have today we have already improved a lot uh, for example with the minorities are just you know stepping back up and you know trying to earn their place which was obviously better than the past um, however, I also think that there's always going to be a need of improvement, like nothing can be fully perfect and especially in this world because um, balance is always imperfect and we're always trying to fight for equality but there's always going to be situations where equality is not going to be uh, available. I think that before we can like have some of the discussions that need to be had, there needs to be like this sort of like like there needs to be the respect before that and if you can't have a conversation a respectful conversation with someone it's very difficult to actually address the issues i definitely believe the world will get better but i don't know how that's not me that's on the government laws and people i mix race my dad's white european my mom is black african I think I was raised in good hands, so yeah. I can't really give an opinion because personally I've never tried it and I back in Spain I do have a lot of black friends so I can't really give an answer. Um, I have found it quite difficult to break into the industry so far um it seems like there's two different types of industry like it's that's sort of something that i've been starting to realize more like there's the industry that you see that's like on the radio on tv and then there's like more of a community industry that i don't think i was as aware of where it's very it's a lot easier to be successful and to be musicking um without necessarily having to have all the connections and 
have all the followers and everything. Like there's more to it than just what we see on TV. Creative, it can it can be quite tough uh, because especially in that creative era, people judge you and your creative skills. In that sense, um, it can get quite competitive, and just because of my skin, people already uh, assume a lot of the things as it is and do diminish or expect me to do certain things that fit into the stereotype. But I'm just as a person, so it's, it can get quite difficult. It's your God-given right, do you know what I mean? As a black person, as a white person, you have the right to do whatever it is that pleases you. In mm -hmm. terms of, yeah, this is my path and this is where I'm going to take it. Not because of the colour of my skin, not because of, you know, uh, where I come from, not because of who brought me to this country and whatnot. And it's, uh, the funny state that people like to say is that, oh yeah, go back to your country. But really and truly, let's not, let's not forget that your people brought me to this country. So if I wanted to go back, I could. Mm -hmm. But you guys brought me here, so what do you want? Like, it's, it's long being a creative in, the, in this in this country and being a creative anywhere, especially.